Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. If you guys are new, welcome. If not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say, where's Dashi? Where is Dashi? Uh, so we do have a new Akomi X mutable uh, migration swap options. I've told y'all do not do anything with your Omi until multiple YouTubers, including me, Dan Lee, Poor Man Benching, Taps Trades, everyone else, you know, uh, tell you exactly what to do. So the article is out. If you haven't read the article, if you're not on Medium or Twitter, here it is. Beginning in the new year, migrating our tokens from the existing Go Chain Omi and Wrapped Omi, or Womi, to the new Ethereum Omi will become available. There are three swap options available to you depending on how you wish to use your tokens, with varying degrees of knowledge across uh, and costs incurred. <coughs> so this is not going to be free. Warning. Please only use official links and information provided. The OMI token migration to Ethereum will not begin until the new year, and the date is yet to be announced. Be wary of scams or any service offering to swap your tokens for you. Anyone saying like, <coughs> "Hey, I'm from Akomi. We we were told to uh, message people to to don't don't do that." Now that the minting of NFTs on Immutable is complete, we have begun preparations for the migration. This is the second article in the token migration series. If you missed the first article, we strongly request you suggest you read it. <clears throat> but the VV app is one of them. Your in-app OMI wallet is one of the cheapest options available to you for the token swap. So if you don't know what that is, basically all you have to do is you go into the uh, app and you have a wallet in there and you just click on your wallet and you see, oh, hey, guess what? I have an OMI wallet. All you have to do is send, receive. So you click receive and you have a QR code. Uh, you could send OMI there or you could copy the address, that type of deal. Any OMI tokens that are swapped through the in-app wallet will automatically be swapped to Layer 2 OMI. We will advise you as to when this will take place to ensure you have ample time to move your tokens if you wish. <clears throat> now, if you have it in Trust Wallet or on the Go or on Bitforex or whatever, you will need a little bit of Go Chain to be able to uh, the Go tokens to be able to swap them uh, to transport them. Reminder: L2 OMI can be used within the VV app for a range of utilities such as staking, the OMI drop raffle peer-to-peer -peer trading, meaning like if uh, I have something you want to buy it for OMI, you can do that, uh, and more. However, if you want to trade your OMI tokens on an exchange, you'll need to bridge them back to layer one. We will provide instructions on this in the future, but that will incur the gas costs. If you currently store your OMI tokens privately in your own wallet and would like to use the VV app to swap to uh, at layer two OMI tokens, you will also need Go tokens to use as gas in order to send uh, to send them. Now, one Go token is more than enough for multiple transactions, so you will not need much to move your Go tokens. Uh, and when I say that, you can move probably a billion OMI with one or two tokens. Yeah. Um, if you are lucky, someone in the fam may be willing to send you one, and the Akomi Telegram community is a great place to start. Um, let people know what, what we'll be able to send uh, tokens to y'all. If you already hold your OMI in the VV app wallet and you're happy your balances to be migrated directly to layer two, you can leave them as is if they're already in the VV app. They will be automatically swapped when the migration takes place. Note, the option to send your existing Go Chain OMI to your in-app wallets is only available before the token migration. Once the OMI token has moved to Ethereum, you will need to manually swap them through our swap site and more below to be able to port them into the app. Okay, maybe I'll send them there first. Exchanges. The OMI token is currently available on four exchanges, and each has confirmed they will also help facilitate the token swap. OKEX, Ascendex, Bit4X, and Gate.io. This means exchanges will automatically swap your tokens for you uh, to the new Ethereum OMI token. However, these tokens will be swapped to Layer 1 OMI. Now, holding Layer 1 OMI allows you to trade your tokens and store them in any cold storage wallet that supports the Ethereum ERC20 tokens. However, you will not be able to use them within the VV app. If you wish to use your OMI in the VV app at a later date, you'll be able to bridge or port your tokens to layer two through the web wallet. Now, what I'm probably gonna do is because I'll probably move a couple million of my, I'm, honestly, I'm probably gonna move a lot of them to the uh, wallet inside the app. Why? Because I only plan to sell a couple million next year just to pay taxes. The rest I'm going to stake. The rest I'm going to hodl. I don't really need to sell them. 
Now, they said they'll be working closely with the exchanges to set a date so that you have ample opportunity to deposit your tokens should you wish to choose this option. And again, the only costs incurred are the GoChain gas fees, which are, are literally, it'll be, to, to move a billion tokens, it might cost you like a couple dollars, like two or three dollars. But uh, so most people, it, it would cost a couple pennies to move, you know, like 10 million, maybe, maybe 100 million, whatever. Now, during the token swap, it is expected that the exchanges will pause deposits, withdrawals, and trading of OMI token. Uh, so, yeah. Um, the length of this time pause takes place will depend on the exchange itself, and they will provide information on this as necessary. So what they said, I'm going to read this real slow. Exchanges will pause deposits, withdrawals, and trading of the OMI token while the swap is going on. We don't know how long that's going to be for. If you want to have your OMI liquid or whatever, it might not be the best idea to have them on the exchange. Now, again, I don't know what that's going to do to the price. I don't know how long that's going to be uh, frozen for. But again, that's just for those exchanges. We'll probably have other exchanges probably in February. That's already going to be good to go. Now, upon completion of the exchange-based token swap, you'll no longer be able to send your GoChain OMI tokens to your exchange accounts as they will only accept new Ethereum OMI token from that point on. However, option three will be available for you to migrate your tokens at a later date. Now note, once the migration is complete, you will no longer be able to send your OMI, your GoChain OMI tokens to your in-app VV wallet or to your exchange accounts as they will only accept the Ethereum OMI token from that point on. Now the token swap site. Token swap site is a manual process and allows you to swap from existing GoChain uh, OMI token and or the wrapped OMI token to the new Ethereum OMI token, giving you the option of when you want to migrate your to your tokens. Now, if you are just in this for the investment and you don't care about saying like, hey, listen, I don't want to buy NFTs. I don't care about staking. I don't care about peer to peer transactions. I just then by all means, keep them on an exchange. That's fine. If you don't keep them on a bit Forex or OKEX, whatever, Wait until they're on Coinbase, KuCoin, Kraken, whatever. They'll have those options as well, assuming we have those. Um, the key difference between manual migration through the swap site and the automatic swap offered in in-app uh, offered in app, uh, and through exchanges are the cost and knowledge required. Now, in order to use the swap site, you will need to have to use the MetaMask browser extension and understand how to sign and approve transactions. And that might take a little bit while I might do a separate video on that. I might wait for taps to do a video on that. So you will also require both go tokens and Ethereum tokens in order to cover gas. And this transaction cost is incurred by the token holder. So that's, that's for you. You need to have Ethereum, you need to have go. Uh, honestly, most people are probably better off just putting them on an exchange. Um, to, to do that, that does take a little bit. Again, we'll, there'll be separate videos for that. Now, any GoChain OMI that is migrated to Ethereum OMI using the swap site will be migrated to Layer 1, and you'll have the option to bridge to Layer 2 to be used within the VV app. However, these transactions will also incur a gas cost. Again, if you need a refresher on the difference between Layer 1 and Layer 2 OMI, um, how they can be used, please see a different article. And choosing when to, uh, to use the swap site is up to you and provides the opportunity to swap your tokens when gas prices are lower. The swap site will be available indefinitely, which means you do not need to rush to swap your OMI as soon as the swap site is live. You may find your transaction process more quickly once the traffic eases. Again, I'll probably put five or six million tokens on an exchange. A lot of it I'm just going to use on a VV app, uh, just because I don't, I don't need to do anything with them. I'll, I'll, I'll sell. I'll put maybe a couple million OMI on an exchange per year. I, I really want to have a hundred million OMI on me. Uh, like still have it by the time we reach a dollar. Now note, token swap site is the most expensive option of the three as it requires you to pay gas fees using Go and Ether, the native token on the Ethereum blockchain. Depending on network congestion, these transactions will cost anywhere from 30 to $100 worth of Ethereum or more, which again, for me that, well, again, for me that, that if you have 100 million OMI, $100 probably is not much to you. Um, we'll soon be releasing an in-depth instructions and walkthrough guide showing you how to connect and use the swap site. I guess this is just an overview. Uh, but like I said, please only use the official links and information provided. The OMI token migration to Ethereum will not begin until the new year, and the date is yet to be announced. Be wary of scams or any service offering to swap your tokens for you. Everyone comment down below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer. 
And I will catch you all later. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I love you all. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.